that was inherited by the tribes of Israel. And here's the map over there. You do see the river Jordan that flows from the Sea of Galilee into the Dead Sea. And you do know that two and a half tribes, Reuben, Gad, the half tribe of Manasseh, had their allotment on the eastern side. Today, the river Jordan is the border between the state of Israel and Jordan. And therefore, the land of Israel will be bigger than the state of Israel. Because some of the tribes of Israel, like the tribe of Asher, Asher had his inheritance in what is called Lebanon today, or South Lebanon. And therefore, to speak about Israel is not enough. We need to be specific. So biblically, we would call that the land of Israel, which is bigger by its territory than the state of Israel. To make it more confusing, because it's very clear so far, let's bring in the issue of Canaan. Well, the Bible gives us a description of Canaan, by the way, almost identical to the territory of Canaan that appears in Egyptian documents as well. So when Moses is standing on top of Mount Pisgah in Numbers 34, and God shows him the land that he's not going to inherit, remember, he's not crossing the Jordan. Joshua will be the one to conquer the land. What he shows him basically is this land. I don't know exactly, no one knows what exactly, why it looks like that, but the names that are mentioned are on the borders of Canaan. Some of them were located beyond any doubt, not all of them. The Bible says, for example, River Jordan and Sea of Galilee. It doesn't say Sea of Galilee, Lake Kinneret, that's the name in Hebrew, will be on the eastern border. So the land of Canaan that the Bible mentions, similar to Egyptian documents as well, that's give or take. The map. By the way, from top to bottom, that will be approximately 250 miles. Not very big. The state of Israel today is a little bit smaller than the great state of New Jersey, 8,000 square miles. Let's go forward and speak about Zion, another intriguing term because today Zion or Zionism is more about politics than any other thing. But when the Bible speaks about Zion, it speaks about the citadel of Zion that was part of Jerusalem. Sometimes Zion is actually a name to all of Jerusalem, but biblically, not even once, when the Bible says Zion, it will describe the whole land of Israel. Zionism today is coming from the word Zion, but it has only a political meaning. Biblically, Mount Zion, for example, is Temple Mount in Jerusalem, Mount Moriah. So the term Zion is describing a very small geographical area. It's just part of Jerusalem, or sometimes all of Jerusalem, but not more than that. And to make it more complicated, because this is really fun, is the Holy Land. What is the Holy Land? Well, the Holy Land is not even a Jewish term, so to speak, because the Terra Santa is basically Latin. It's a Catholic term. The Bible, only in one place in the Old